destroy 20 of the 30 balloons and land on the runway. You must destroy 10 of me. You must destroy 20. Exactly 20. I'm sure if you destroy 21, you'll still get time points. Nice. Wait, mine wasn't nice, Chris? You both sound beautiful. Thank you. I was just trying to do my best Tim impression. I do my best Tim impression every day. Of my That's deep, man. Oh, you're fucked. Oh, you got it. One. <laughs> One. One, two. Oh, good. I don't need to count. That's good. You get three, get four balloons with one thing. I don't think it goes through it. <laughs> In real life, it would. Uh, I'm not sure about that. I'm about mess with like explode off impact. If they are balloons. Yeah. Sure. I don't think so. If they're hot air balloons. I don't think so. Should have gone out wide. Here, I'll go out wide here. Well. If it's if ifs and buts were candies and nuts, then every day we'd be feeling dog fest. Chris. What? Miss Dwight said it on the office. He has weird German holidays in his family. I never really got into the Me neither. I like watching like the funny on YouTube, but I don't think I can screw an episode. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's not for everyone. But apparently it's for every basic white bitch out there. Uh, Most popular um, show on. I, I definitely like The Office. Um, There's nothing wrong I, with liking it. I just find yeah. it funny that every fucking white girl that I ever see online is like there is quoting something The wrong Office. There is liking it. You're no, there's... a human being. There's not. Um, <laughs> there are people who, like... I. And there's also people who, like, like it and think Michael's the worst part of it. I think Michael is by far the best I like Steve character Carrell. on the show. Yes. Um, I don't know if I like his character. He's just a, like... It's funny because uh, I like the dry humor of Parks and Rec, but it's very different. Well, yeah, no, they, of course. I. The only way they're really comparison is that they have a camera. <laughs> Like following him around, but even Parks and Rec basically. Oh, one more. Let that go. Just give me that last one. I, don't know, I just like the personalities on Parks and Rec a lot more. Sure. Yeah. Office. Oops. Kind of bland on the office. Oh, oh. they're not bland. Yeah, it just <laughs> gets rid of them. Yeah, so you can only hit different. 20. Once you hit 20, it disappears. I see, I noticed. If you get gold Careful of ice on the runway. Chris, if you get gold, I will fry okay. your microphone and eat it. You were cutting out. I did not hear what you really said. Oh, I said, if you get gold on this, I will deep fry your microphone and eat it. Okay. Weird. What? That sounds painful. I, it sounds and like also something also you wouldn't want. Yeah, yeah I don't <laughs> really want that. That's what I miss cleaner. out on. Good job, time. Buddy. Time, really. All right, I got I to gotta give you, like, incentive to want to get gold. Um, yeah. Ooh, 89 points. If you get gold... I'll deep fry your microphone. <laughs> yeah, Kevin will deep fry your microphone. Mecha Hawk. <laughs> Mecha Hawk has returned. I wish you were, are you playing as Hawk? No, you're not. You're playing as I still don't understand why he's the girl I picked. No, that's his name. The character. The character oh, Hawk. Oh, the character Hawk. Okay. Yeah. I see. yeah. It's his Rabbit. evil giant twin. He's just a giant block in the water, I guess. <laughs> oh, you swimming. can see him. He's swimming. <laughs> yeah, it turns out that this game doesn't like to render 3D models in the water. Oh, you bitch. Well, we get a little, like, insight into how... The devs created the model. And the oh, AI of the model. That's all. Oh. Oh. Bullshit. Oh, God. Come on. Thought Easy. I swung out wide enough. 
Easy. Hold it steady, Chris. Lemon Preezy. Peasy. Squeezy. It's in the American Crawl. Oh, oh you bitch. <sighs> Ryan the Noggin. He deserved it. Being a dick. I'm hitting my rockets out of the air while I'm trying to hit him. I'm above him. Kevin, tell me a story. Well, once upon a time... I, hang on, I didn't come up with a story before I started. Oh. Um, what do you want to hear? Oh, it's like, do you like good stories or bad stories? Um, I want the best story of all time. The best oh, story oh, of all hey, time. Kevin, if you want the yeah. best story of all time, go look up Nate the Snake if you've never heard no, of it. No, don't do it. It's a <laughs> trap. <laughs> I love that story. It's I mean, my I favorite. Can, I can tell you about the little pink mouse, but that's not a great story either. Um, hang on, I got you. I made one of my friends look up Nate the Snake and read it, and we sat in a bar for like 30 minutes while she read the whole thing, and afterwards... She was like, why the fuck did you do that to me? I thought it was the uh, funniest oh, oh, fucking no. thing. It's probably one of my favorite jokes. It's awful. It's so good. When you have some time, go out and look up Nate nope. the Snake. Don't do it. It's, a, it's, it's a quite trap. a read, but the payoff is tremendous. It's a tart. Just keep firing. Well, okay, I'm gonna tell you, um, I'm gonna tell you a story. Once about a how life got flipped, turned upside down. So, once upon a time, there was this guy, and he lived in an apartment with his three other friends. This okay. is not us, by the way. I realize yeah. that's where it sounds. Like it's <laughs> um, he lived in an apartment with his three other friends, and they all just did the same job. Um, and this guy at one point, um, his three friends got into a tragic accident and died and it kind of caused oh. him to go into a self-respective, um, uh, self-reflective spiral where he kind of was questioning if what he did for a living was actually worth it or if he was actually helping people. And he decided to go home and kind of study, um, his roots and where he came from and kind of explore himself. So he went back to go work in the family business. Um, but his brothers and dad didn't really think he fit in there and they were a little bit embarrassed by him. Um, and so basically one of his friends back home said, Hey, I've got a new job for you. Come and do this. Um, and so he went and it was basically the old job. They, they pulled him back in and he was doing the same thing just for a new client, the biggest client who he could never work with before. Um, and so Anyway, long story short, they were basically brainwashing him to uh, assassinate a foreign um, diplomat, and uh, he was saved by his old rival, and then they lived pretty much happily ever after. And Wait. that's the story of Zoolander. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but why I was, male I was, models? I was trying to figure out, like, which movie you're trying to you're pulling this from. <laughs> uh... I didn't get a medal, so it just made me redo it. Oh shit! Because I didn't pass any of them technically. Oh, oh yikes! Oh wait, like, but like, does it like keep your like top score? It just said yeah, top score was like fifty whatever, sixty whatever. We'll try again. It says my landing accuracy is really bad, and I don't know what that means. I they guess gotta it just land, means like, the, the runway. End. In the middle. Yeah, middle of the runway, like like on the line. Yeah. I walk the line. Walk I walk a lonely road. Walk yeah, how long did it take you to know uh, what I was doing? Not very long, I would um, assume. I I figured it out once you said um, he was going. He had, to, he had to do back and go back and do his old his old job. Oh, okay, that's later yeah. than I thought. I've only yeah. seen Zoolander once, and I was also not really paying attention because I was concentrating. Because you were playing, yeah. No, I know, I get you. I don't know why that's the first movie that I was like. I was just trying to. I was like, what movie do I know well enough that I could vaguely describe it? <laughs> and hope that they. Oh, there's, there's there's one of these that's really good. Let me see if I can find it. 
what another joke or another movie plot that you can another. turn into a story. Yeah, let me see if I can find it. <laughs> you're, you're so much better at this than I was. I know, Olimar, please don't be embarrassed for me. I'm embarrassed for myself. What is that white one? I don't know what that is. No, it's an unpopped ring right now. Yeah, but... No popcorn. <laughs> Check out them whales. Alright, I, I found it. Okay. Hey, man. This one's, Give it this to one's us. called, um... I hate my job. My job is so fucking unbelievable. I'll try to sum it, sum it up by first telling you about the folks I work with. First, there's this supermodel wannabe chick. Yeah, okay, she is pretty hot, but damn, she's completely useless. The girl is constantly fixing her hair and putting on makeup. She's extremely self-centered and has never once considered the needs or wants of anyone but herself. She is dumb as a box of rocks, and I still find it surprising that she has enough brain power to continue to breathe. The next chick is completely the opposite. She might even be one of the smartest people on the planet. Her career opportunities are endless, and yet she is here with us. She's a zero on a scale of one to ten. I'm not even sure she even showers, but much less shaves her womanly parts. I think she might be a lesbian, because every time we drive by the hardware store, she moans like a cat in heat. But the jewel <laughs> of the crowd has got to be this fucking stoner. This guy is more than just your average pothead. In fact, he's baked before he comes to work, during work, and I'm sure after work. He probably hasn't been sober any time in the last ten years. Let He's me, only tw can so, I interrupt real quick? Sure. Can I say that the uh, other person they work with is an animal? He's only 22. He dresses like a beatneck <laughs> throwback from the 1960s. <laughs> he brings his big fucking dog to work every fucking day. I have to look at this huge Great Dane walk around half stoned from the secondhand smoke. Hell, sometimes I even think he's trying to talk with just... his constant bellowing. Also, <laughs> so both of them are... Both of them are constantly hungry, requiring multiple stops in McDonald's and Burger King every single fucking day. Anyway, I drive these fucktards around in my van and we solve mysteries and shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Freddy Jones. Oh, uh, slow down. Slow down. No, you got it. You got it. Well, now Psych. I'm gonna find one. I got it. You got through the the Daphne and Velma, and I was like, and then you said Stoner, and I was like, it's Scooby Doo. Yeah. I thought it was Scooby Doo right before it, but Stoner confirmed. Yeah. I, what else was I think there was? I thought Gilligan's Island for a split for the very beginning. I've of never it. seen Gilligan's Island. Um, I I was just I don't know. I knew there was a smart girl and a hot girl, and I just thought it was gonna start describing. More than I don't know if she even showers. He doesn't think, doesn't think uh, Velma showers or shaves her oh, lady come parts. On. Landing accomplished. What the hell? I'm going as fast as I can. I only looped around like once or twice. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I pull, I pull, I get most of these from like old four champos. <laughs> okay. Alright, here's another one. Alright. Be me. I'm 11. Realize my f fuck. Live in a backwards ass tiny redneck, uh, Euro f town. Would get kicked out if anyone found out. Pull up in this ridiculous. Pull up this ridiculous macho persona. Get really into sports and hunting and shit. Turns out my hunting buddy is gay too. Forbidden love. <laughs> be I'm 25 now. Tall and into sports. So bitches go after me left and right. Have to find an excuse to turn them all down. Find this nerdy freak bitch who hates me. Start hitting on her really badly. She obviously turns me down. My beard hates me. I don't give a fuck. Then the bitch generally turn isn't around anymore. Turns out she's gone into gone this crazy ass abusive boyfriend who won't let her leave the house. The cops don't do shit. Everyone looks at me like I'm supposed to do something about it. Gotta pull the macho face, get some friends, including the hunting buddy, and walk up to the boyfriend's house. The bitch pulls some Stockholm Syndrome loony shit about how we don't understand their love. Boyfriend's fucking insane. Things get heated and I end up stabbing the boyfriend. He shuts me off the building. The love of my life watches as I fall to my death. My face yeah. went no way. 
That's <laughs> still as slick as Gaston. No one's quick as Gaston. No one's next as incredibly thick as Gaston. Yep, I, I really didn't get it until everybody showed up at the castle. Beauty and the be and I did like I should have gotten that way sooner. You did. You did a play. I studied that for six months. Kevin, do you have one? Or I, I know, did it. No, you okay. go. All right. Uh, my friend, oh, someone wrote that after the live action one. All right, this is from Twitter. Story time. So back in my youth, I was a nerd. Well in classes, but mostly I was picked on. So this girl I'm at is at my class, and she's hella cute. I'm sprung. I introduce myself to her, and we talk. She quickly friend zones me. I'm blown, but I'm like, fuck it. Feel me? She bad, and man, if not today, maybe tomorrow. That is, till this weak ass um, N word <laughs> comes along, I'll I'll replace it with bitch. What time is it? Um, one of the main dudes who was fucking with me, she decides to get with this herb. This herb? I was hurt. I, I was hurt, bruh. Not gonna front. Probably took a hit. So all the while, I'm thinking maybe this is a phase. She's gonna wake up and realize her dude is a sucker Look ass. Look at that! Bitch. Interrupt for that perfect score. Nice, dude. We get older, and once you freaking believe it, friend zone mayor, fucking marries the dude. Has a kid and everything. Can't believe it. I'm shocked because I still like this chick, and he's clearly a, a Bama. But my hands are tied. But these people I know didn't bang with, with him like that. I was like, fuck it. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. So I started rolling with these fools. So the leader stepped hella out of line. Son tried to cap old girl, her fuckboy husband, and the baby. Somehow the kid lived, but shit. He was, one, he was on some other shit. Oh, anyway, I, Anyway, after all this shit happened, I s just said fuck it and became the potions master at Hogwarts. Yes! <laughs> I was looked after that kid. <laughs> all the, also, by the way, it saves your score for each, like, one of the three. Like, it was oh, three, three courses. So as soon as I got the hundred, it automatically gave me the bronze because that's I had good. gotten enough on the third one. That's good. So you can only improve your scores, basically. Which is good. So, uh, back to Tim. My turn. I'm gonna go get some water. Swag. I'm gonna try the one Kevin failed at. Uh, which one? I haven't completed a Hang, mission in glider. like six years. Hang glider one. Do, do, do. Okay. So. Um. Hits. Your speed constant and turn into the. <laughs> Kevin, you, should, you really did keep your speed constant. Constantly low. Oh, where was, is there a subreddit for those types of stories? Um, go to the Know Your Mean page, um, my job fucking sucks, or my job sucks, or something like that. Okay, hold on a sec. Uh, you guys keep going. Well, here we are, Tim. You got it. Also, you've got six photos to take, so don't forget that. I have to take photos? No, 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 no. Here's the thing. About six years ago, it looked like you should have been in that updraft. I feel like I would throw up doing this in real life. Yeah. You can make it, Tim. I, I really, I, I don't understand what they're wearing, <laughs> like, what their feet are in, you know? What? Well, like, they've got legs that are just, like, tucked up in that little... Inside their, uh, mermaid stinger. tails? Yeah, stinger. Yeah. I do not understand You don't need why. to. Well, that's true. I forgot to add meme to the end of I hate my job and it was like um it is is that what it's called I hate my job yeah or I fucking hate my job or something like that yeah uh, Tim yeah Tim 
You got it, buddy. I'm just getting Pinterest links. Oh, there we go. I hit my job, Mega Man. Pinterest, Pinterest. <sighs> Mega Meme, let me pause ads on your site. Oh, get in the thing. <laughs> you know my struggles. Oh. Am I in it? Um, you're too far. You're too low. This one should be... Wow, why is so much of it bleeped out? Hold on, let me read this real quick so I get an idea. Oh, you're going a step further than Tim. I have a feeling Tim just found one and read it. <laughs> yeah. Exactly what happened. I believe you. Okay. It's it like bleeps out in really weird places. I'm trying to figure out what word they were trying to say. So you think you had a hard childhood? Well, fuck you. It's got nothing on mine. My mom practically kicked my ass out of the house before I even hit 13, and I even never met my dad. My only friend till I was 10 was the fuck next door who was always beating the shit out of me and oh, telling I me I one. wasn't worth shit. What do you think it is? Uh, I, 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 I've heard this before, so... Pokemon. I'm, I'm yeah, Kevin got it. <laughs> it? Sorry, I said it, I said it as soon as you said my house out, but my microphone was muted. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, sorry, I didn't, didn't mean to cut you off. You're good. I, I want you guys to guess it as I'm trying to read it. Where did, where did, where did, what did... I hate my job meme? What? That's what it's called. I just, I searched, I hate my job, know your meme. And I was oh, reading no, ones on the page. Guys, I'm fucking sick of this. I'm almost 20 and I haven't been able to score a better job than a fucking cook at a local fast food joint. I know. SpongeBob. Yeah, from that, yeah, that was, that's too easy. Damn it. Oh, there's the original one. That's the one he already read us. Yeah, so... Let's see if I can find. I don't know if you'll get this one. Wait. Nah. Nah. Nah, I'm not doing that one. Oh, this was just a different one that it was not one of those, but it just said if you glue a dead wasp to your palm, you can smack your boss on the back of the head as hard as you want and act like a hero. Or act like you saved him. <laughs> um. Wait, is the original I hate my job mean? I fucking got it. <laughs> yeah. No, you're. Yeah. I found the original post just by Google searching. It's the yeah. Scooby-Doo one, nine years yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah, But I don't know where to find more. More. More? <laughs> one of the top comments on the original post, you question her sexuality despite what you wear? We got it, 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 we got it. Let's nice go. Nice job, Tim. I was not paying attention, but I am fully invested now. And now we got land. You got it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. God. Oh no! My. So upset. Twitch, 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 and zero. I'm so upset.